gentlemen, well, I'm going to do a little barbecuing today. Just making a video for Mr. Canadian Badass. And so I decided to do a little barbecuing. But these are some redfish fillets. We're going to season those up. And I got a bunch of corn that are going on the barbecue pit. And some chickens. Now, one of the chickens is going to be cooked in the house. The other one's going to be out on the grill. Uh, but I'm going to season these fish with some of this badger. This is a Walmart special stuff. Basically, it has everything in there you need. But, this is another Walmart deal. Now, I don't know about you northern states. You may not be able to get this stuff. This is supposed to go on fruit. But, I put it on everything. I, I don't have any issues with it. It's pretty good stuff. So, we're going to go ahead and sprinkle it on real heavy. Like everything real heavy. And I'm only the only one in the house that really likes fish. So, I can do whatever I want. Now season these up real well. Now I got an announcement to make y'all. Got good news. I have been invited to hunt on a different deer lease. So the hog zone will live. I did have some other places to go hunt, but it wouldn't have been like a regular deal. So I have gotten myself invited onto another deer lease. Uh, I am very, very, very grateful for the invite uh, to join this group of hunters and hopefully everything will work out and we'll have a good time and I'll be able to videotape some uh, really good kill shots and get some more hogs. Got to have some hogs and the place has hogs. Okay, now for you cast iron freaks, I've got my cast iron pot there as you've seen. Uh, that's how I like to cook my chickens. So you got my chicken here. And what we're going to do is season the hell out of it. Actually, I'm going to go light because that's the way my wife likes it. Okay, let's season this baby up. going to add some salt. Well, let's do the pepper first. Looks like my battery died. Probably made in China. <laughs> I'm just going basic seasoning on this one. Salt, pepper, a little garlic powder, you know, onion powder. Actually, this badger right here. We're going to add that all on there. Get that all up there inside. There we go. This is my tame chicken. The one going on the pit is going to be seasoned a whole lot different. Chicken's in my cast iron pot. I cook it in the cast iron pot strictly because all the juices stay in the pot. And then I'm able to make my gravy right there in the pot. Doesn't get any simpler than that. There we go. Now this is the chicken going on the smoke. Check it out. It'll light this baby up. This is all part of my cardio diet. This is my special blend of uh, white and black pepper. Give that a little hit. Slap your mama. If you don't have this, I'm sorry. You're just out of luck. They do have a yellow and red, which is a lot hotter. I enjoy that one also. But since I have so many peppers in the backyard, I really don't need more heat because I just eat the peppers with dinner. You know, help it out. Walmart's your best friend for this stuff. It's just got everything in it. Cilantro, garlic, onion powder. You name it, it's in this. They've already mixed it for you. You don't have to add your own little special blend. Because they've already done it. I mean, it makes it so much simpler. Yeah, and this does make a mess, but you know, that's, that's the deal. It's just the way it is. Now, I like putting this on there because it's got a little lime in it. It makes it a little exotic. And it's got most of the stuff that this one has. Now, I know El Grande Dog is probably laughing at me. No rabbit's dog. 
or El Rabbit, he's probably laughing at me. El Coyote's probably laughing at me. In fact, all the L's are probably laughing at me. <laughs> and Hill Country Meat Killer, we'll throw him in there. Anyway, guys, we're going to let that set for a little bit, and then I'm going to throw it on the pit. Now, I'm going to try something a little different today. I cut a couple of limes in half, and you've heard of beer butt chicken. Well, I'm going to make lime butt chicken. It should cook the uh, moisture right out of these limes, and we'll see how it seasons up the meat. I really like limes. I don't know why. It uh, may just destroy the flavor of the meat. We'll see what happens. I don't think it will. Okay, guys, here we go. Got my 55 barrel, gallon barrel. That's done. Hour and a half. She should be finished. Got some smoke working. We're good to go. Okay guys, we're going to add our fish pit using my cast iron pizza pan. Just going to set that in there, give it about 30 minutes or so. Let that cook. Okay guys, it's been about 10-15 minutes. And I got my corn. I'm going to add that in here. Just throw that up on the grill like that. And I'm going to flip the fish. As you can see, it's cooking very well. Nice and juicy. And just right over the heat. Ooh, it's already flaking up. Not like cooking on cast iron. And my chicken's looking really well too. Looking real good. Okay, we'll give that another 15 minutes. Fish out of here. Oh boy. Chicken's coming along good. Wow. Can y'all see that? It's all nice and flaky. Nice and tender. Woo -hoo. Nice and juicy too. Can you see that? Wow. Well, the fish is done. See it? It's very flaky. You can just kind of push it apart. Nice and moist. Mmm. Seasoning is awesome. Wow. That's how to cook some redfish. Oh, fantastic. Now, I caught these with DNA. And uh, I suggest you check them out. Oh, good. Okay, guys. That bird is finished. Already checked it for you know the juices and everything, but I'm gonna leave it on here. And my corn is also finished. So I'm just gonna leave it on here for about another 15 minutes. I'm not gonna show you me cutting it up. But that bird is complete. Hey y'all, that's a thing of beauty right there. That is finished. Check that bird out. Okay, gentlemen, that's how I cook a couple of chickens, some redfish. Uh, just was doing that because of Canadian Badass's uh, subscriber contest. Uh, check out my other channel, The Hog Zone. Check us out on Facebook. All the links will be right there in the description. Check us out. And so we're good to go, guys. So appreciate it. Be talking to you.